Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. In this video I set out to explain what exactly is a Queen Mother and answer the question will Catherine the Duchess of Cambridge ever be one? In the present day when we think about the title the Queen Mother we usually associate it with the last Queen to hold the title in living memory. Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother was Queen Consort to her husband George VI between 1936 and 1952. She later became styled Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother from 1952 until 2002. Following her husband's death and daughter's accession to the throne, she held the status of Queen Mother for 50 years. There are some qualifying factors you must meet to become a Queen Mother. A Queen Mother is a Dowager Queen who is the mother of a reigning monarch or an Empress Mother in the case of an empire. The term has been used in English since at least 1560. It arises in hereditary monarchies in Europe and also is used to describe a number of similar yet distinct monarchical concepts in non-European cultures around the world. A dowager queen is a queen consort whose husband, the king, has passed away. Therefore, our present Queen Elizabeth II could never be a dowager queen as she is queen regnant. A widowed queen consort or dowager queen has an important royal position whether or not she is the mother of a reigning sovereign but does not normally have any rights to succeed a king as monarch on his death unless she happens to be next in line to the throne. One possibility would be if the king and queen were also cousins and childless. The king had no other siblings and she in her other position as his cousin was also his heiress presumptive. A new reigning king would have at accession or eventually perhaps a wife who would be the new queen consort and, of course, a Queen Regnant would also be called Queen. More to the point, there may be more than one Queen Dowager at any given time. This was the case in Britain after George VI's death, when there were three Queens. A reigning sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, and two Dowager Queens, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and Her Majesty Queen Mary, who had been married to George V, although Mary chose not to use the style Queen Mother. The title Queen Mother evolved to distinguish a Queen Dowager from all other Queens when she is also the mother of a reigning sovereign. Thus, upon the death of her husband, King George V, Queen Mary became Queen Mother, retaining the status throughout the reign of her sons Edward VIII and George VI. However, as I stated earlier, she chose never to be styled as such. The title also distinguishes former Queen's consort from those who are simply the mother of the current monarch. For example, Princess Victoria of saxe coburg salfield was the Queen's mother when her daughter Victoria became Queen Regnant, but she was not Queen Mother. The title in British usage is purely a courtesy title. While the wife of a king is called Queen, there is no constitutional or statutory recognition of Queen Mother as a title. There is no male equivalent to a Queen Mother, i.e. King Father. This would occur only if the husband of a Queen Regnant outlived the Queen and was therefore father to the new king or queen. Such a situation has never occurred. The next chance of this occurring would be if His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, outlived Queen Elizabeth. Since the title Queen Mother derives from the woman's previous title of Queen, it would also be incongruous to call such a father of a monarch the King Father, as the husbands of Queen's Regnant are not called King, but rather Prince Consort. The exact title such a person would assume has not been clarified by royal lineage experts. Prince Father is a possibility. So where does this leave Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge Catherine? In a scenario where Prince William succeeds to the throne and becomes King, then Catherine would by way of law and courtesy be known as Her Majesty the Queen Consort. Upon William's death, Prince George, who would then likely be known as the Prince of Wales, would succeed to the throne and Catherine would be a Dowager Queen, who is the mother of a reigning monarch. This would make Catherine Her Majesty Queen Catherine the Queen Mother. However, there is a possibility that like Queen Mary, she may decide not to use the style officially. However, in a different scenario, where Prince William were to die before becoming King, then although Prince George would be the next heir, and in due course King, Catherine would have never been a Queen Consort, and as such, could not be styled as Queen Mother. However, there is an even older style of address, which has, to my knowledge, only been used once in British monarchical history. Lady Margaret Beaufort was a major figure in the Wars of the Roses of the late 15th century. A descendant of King Edward III, 
both had passed a disputed claim to the English throne to her son, Henry Tudor. Capitalising on the political upheaval of the period, she actively manoeuvred to secure the crown for her son. Beaufort's efforts ultimately culminated in Henry's decisive victory over King Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field. She was thus instrumental in orchestrating the accession of the Tudor dynasty. After her son's victory at the Battle of Bosworth Field, the Countess was referred to in court as My Lady, the King's Mother. Beaufort was well rewarded for her lifelong endeavours. Her son's first parliament reversed the attainder against her and named her a femme soul. This title, previously reserved almost exclusively for queens, granted Beaufort considerable legal and social independence from men. She was allowed to own property separately from her husband, as though she were unmarried, and sue in court. Two rights denied her contemporary women. As arranged by their mothers, Henry married Elizabeth of York. Margaret, who was a countess by marriage, was reluctant to accept a lower status than the Dowager Queen Elizabeth, or even her daughter-in-law, the Queen Consort. She wore robes of the same quality as the Queen Consort and walked only half a pace behind her. Margaret had written her signature as M. Richmond for years, since the 1460s. In 1499, she changed her signature to Margaret R., perhaps to signify her royal authority, R standing either for Regina, Queen in Latin, as customarily employed by female monarchs, or for Richmond, Furthermore, she included the Tudor crown and the caption and mother of Henry VII, King of England and Ireland. My Lady, the King's Mother, is a court address style that could potentially be used by Catherine if Prince William died before becoming king. It is a style which also Prince William, as king, may have bestowed upon his own mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, in recognition of her previously held HRH, which was relinquished in her divorce settlement from Prince Charles. One will never know. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.